Hello, buddy. I am FTA. I am One Shot Fan. Hey! Welcome to a uh, special spooky video. Ooh. Um, it is currently uh, 1 a.m. on January 20th. Well, actually, his PS4 is 12.59, so obviously he's wrong. I read the video about it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to wait now until it says, until it says 1 a.m. All right, kids, strap in. Chris made a bad joke, and now we all suffer. <laughs> You know, it's Resident Evil. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I, I'm going to mute all the audio until it gets to the one room. <laughs> what if it never hits play? You know? <laughs> this is like some weird fucking Shyamalan movie. <laughs> the new movie from M. Night Shyamalan, 1 a.m. The Lone Minute. Oh my god. It's the longest this is, minute of Chris's life. This is worse than Pizza Quest. <laughs> I'm aware during this. Nothing is worse than Pizza Quest, Chris. I don't know. Oh, okay. Ooh. There we go. Now, hey, and now you installed uh, one thirteen Spider Man. Now it is one fucking a.m. on January twentieth. This is when Resident Evil Two took place. We're just being accurate. Sure. Um, and uh, Chris said, "Hey, let's play in the dark and be all spooky." I love Resident Evil 2. It's a game I've played a shitload um, in the past. Christian has never played it, so it's perfect yeah. for him to join us. So let's go into the one shot demo. I won't lie, when it said one <laughs> shot demo, originally I thought it meant um, you had one, you had one like bullet <laughs> to use in your gun. And I'll back you up on that because every time I hear about Resident Evil, there are people are like, "Oh, you know, inventory management. You got to watch your bullets." And I was like, "Yeah, that makes sense. I can see how you'd think that." You know, you know what's kin in the spooky mood? And this, this is not something that people watching will... Is it your the, very bright it's laptop? It's the bright as fuck laptop <laughs> showing how you can hey, record this. Hey, that's pretty scary in its own right. The re-engine. Ooh. <coughs> your sound output is not a headphone. The TV is but I can't even listen to anything, so... That's probably going to kill this a little bit for you. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I have to, yeah, I'll have to play this again at some point. But that's fine. I don't, I don't understand... The pattern is barely visible. Yeah, it's like, by what metric? You know, that's, I feel like it's so subjective. I'm just going to leave it. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll go to that. Okay. Oh, Green Hill Zone. Nice. Let's play in the dark. Yeah, gonna... Let's actually play in the dark. <laughs> um, I guess my disclaimer is I watched someone else play this demo. So, like, I'm basically a Resident Evil 2 master at this point. I basically played this game. I've connected to RENet, whatever the fuck that is. So, Resident Evil so OG, 2. OG came out in 98. So yeah. it's basically a 20-year-old game. Yeah. So. Okay. This is basically PT. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jill Sandwich, Master of Unlocking. <laughs> I'm base I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Chris Redfield can punch boulders. Yeah, I can do that. Good old Sultan Hedgehog can punch boulders. <laughs> that was Roger Craig Smith, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Roger Craig Smith. <laughs> I always yeah. forget how much shit he's done. Dude, off tangent, he he was his Ocean Master in Young Justice. That, that, in season 3, they upload it on DC currently. Hmm. And he sounded like nothing I've ever heard him do. Well, that's good. Cool. That's kind of how he was in uh, Assassin's Creed. He had a really different voice from a lot of his other stuff. Anyway, this is a video game. Hello? Is anybody here? So from my limited understanding, oh. this is more of a Resident Evil 4 style game in this remake. Or did you yes. like 4? I loved 4, man. Yeah, because obviously Resident Evil, the original, um, to like 1, was, you know, it was that the static hallways. It was like fixed camera, right? Fixed camera, yes. Uh, which there was, there was a remake on GameCube. Then they remade that remake at some point. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, I have that. I, ha I got that in the uh, Sega Capcom bundle. Ah. And uh, not only is this game known for zombies, this game is currently killing my PS4. <laughs> it's got the jet engine effect going on in the corner of Let, Let's be quiet, see if you will pick it up. We've bass boosted that like Skrillex to make sure you heard it. <laughs> He looks like such a pretty boy. I kind of like it. But it, it's Lewis. 
Woo. Oh, there's some brain scratch. Oh, I didn't know this was a sponsored thing. Fuck. He, uh, Hashtag ad. <laughs> he, uh, he based his, his uh, haircut on this not anime protagonist. Uh, there's nothing anime about this. This is real life. <laughs> Great uh, computer OS, by the way. That looks really good. So I, I wonder if the game starts because originally you have to, um, in the original Resident Evil 2, you have to run. You have to get into the, into the station. Typewriter is how you say. I was listening to a podcast today that said this demo skips the opening car thing. Gotcha. But that it is there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so you use the hand on that. that, that one. I just shoot it open. You know, tape is weak against bullets, usually. <laughs> As I say, don't actually waste your ammo on that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's like I'm not familiar with games from this time, but I feel like that close up on the door handle is very nineties horror yes, game. Yes, that that is that is what used to happen in Resident Evil. I really appreciate just that. But that they kept it? <laughs> yeah, in the context of this basically looking like a new game. <laughs> so you are at your your friend, um Alex, who will be someday featured in something we recorded that may someday get edited. Yeah, him and his girlfriend were playing it. Oh, fuck yeah, he's in there! <laughs> yeah, he said he wants to fuck Mothman or whatever. Yeah. But, Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, but he likes Resident Evil and I was like, I'm probably not going to play it, but I want to watch someone play it. So I came down to his place and uh, this game's pretty fucking cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I had the Dreamcast version, uh -huh. um, which came with a... Uh, if you had the Dreamcast version put it on, on easy mode, it came with a unlimited Gatling gun. Mm. That sounds like the only way to play a horror game, honestly. Do, so, do you recognize this puzzle? Or? Dude, I, I, watched, I love this game, but I have not played Resident Evil 2 in at least a decade. So this isn't even like a thing, like, I might... No, I don't remember mm. fucking... That's why I'm trying to just find... I thought it was the heart. Remember, you got one shot, dude. 30 minutes. You ain't even seen a single zombie yet. I know, this game is... Oh, that's your clock in the room. I was like, is there an actual ticking second? This is torture. But Oh, there is! There is a timer. I Holy thought shit. I thought it was making a ticking noise from the game. I was like, that's <laughs> fucking mean. Alright. Tick, tock, tick. So I, I, I wonder why they did there, you know, like you get one chance and then that's it. Uh, it's different. It gets people talking, you know. It got my attention. But not enough to play it though, eh, Chris? $60. I mean, Free demo. demo. I gotta make hard drive space. I gotta delete Spyro. <laughs> Fuck off. Capcom. <laughs> Spyro. That's like eight, my entire hard drive right now, all right? Eight but, gigs. 67.44. You watch the demo. Do I gotta fucking do this to progress? You played Resident Evil 2. You gotta do this. You progress. watched the demo. Okay, I'll, I'll say this. We did not find this statue during our demo play. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for that. We one. did not know it existed until we looked up a statue solution on YouTube for a different statue. And we all said, what the fuck? So, <sighs> let me know when you want me to point you. Please so. point me where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Uh, back right. Well, over here? Yeah, take a right, forward here, and. Up the stairs and take a left. Thank you. Take a left. Yeah, right there. Oh, That's yeah. what you want. Out. The button to crouch or there's a button on the left. Oh. Where are the evil funny moments? This reminds me of that time the garage door barely opened in the police center. Why did that time I was stuck in Raccoon City? <laughs> People tried to eat us. Do you think the current climate? I mean, obviously, like uh, to a certain extent, there's always been like remakes of games. You know, as far back as fucking you know Mario All Stars type of thing. You know, yeah. But um, it seems currently with a lot of the Switch and things like this, and you know, Crash and Spyro. Um, there's a lot of remakes going on lately, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, do you think it's just because? People in charge of making games now grew up playing them. You know? Do you think it's just that? That's the reason why? Oh, it's like, I want to bring this classic 
to a modern light kind of thing. Like, yeah. I grew up with this and I want to represent it better kind of thing. I could see it being a bit of that. I could see it being like... The cynical side of me views it much more as a nostalgia thing, though. It's like, oh, people remember Crash, Spyro, Resi 2. Like, we'll just remake it, you know, and it's a guaranteed success, you know, as long as we don't fuck it up too bad. Well, it could have been that some people could have forgotten about Crash Bandicoot. You know, you know there is... There is... I, I honestly think there is a universe where, you know, like, the people who knew Crash bought it, but it didn't, it didn't penetrate the uh, cultural zeitgeist as it, as, it, as it did again, you know? Yeah. I, I think that was just like a lightning in the bottle, like right time kind of thing. All those people were starting to have kids and, you know, Facebook would come up and be like, you remember that fucking thing you played when you were a kid? Here it is now in Unreal Engine 4. <laughs> that kind of shit has been going on for so long that I think there's just a lot of good elements in play in making shit like this work. So I can't, I can't tell where they opened this goddamn door where it's coming from. <laughs> oh, see. Yeah, they found it. But yeah, it helps when the remake's done pretty well and like, if this was called like Resident Evil 8, I wouldn't know any better. And I'd be like, okay, yeah, this looks like a whole new game. And, like, this is probably what I'd expect from a new Resident Evil. Like, this does pretty well from what I'd say. We are slightly... Because we don't have the audio on, something slightly is lost in this. Um, the audio is pretty good in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Just by the way. I, I, I have to switch to my other profile and play this game. And we'll see how. Yeah, there's some... Uh, oh, he's dead. I guess this game did the opposite of what the original Resi 2 did. America, I don't know about your land, America got the kind of more censored version. This time, Japan kind of got the more censored version compared to the US. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a specific thing coming up where it's like, it looks much less... Uh, Graphic in the... Uh... Off-putting, yeah. Uh-oh. Ah! Get off me, you bastard. Oh fuck! Mm. <laughs> That's your. Oh fuck! Look at that. You know, zombies can clip through little <laughs> filing cabinets. It's a thing. It's really scary. <coughs> scary monster. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Yeah, that's right. Is that a punching? Is that like a hit? That like a melee button? Um, I don't know. We we were trying to figure that out when we played. I know if you have like certain items and you get what the fuck launched onto. It's like normally it would in the original it would not take this many fucking bullets to kill him to kill one. This is a over the shoulder game now, son. I think the idea is let's kill it and more disable it for a bit so you can get away. So, okay. I like the idea of some fucking dude running around a haunted police station with like not haunted but zombie infested. Like, so oh, fuck, what's up, zombies? I'm gonna go back to the main mode. <laughs> like the game told me to. I'm scared. Oh, uh, you, you're oh fuck, hey, fuck. <laughs> best part, you were going the right way. Oh, uh, was? Yep. You gotta deal with that shit, son. I only have like six bullets left. Yeah, shouldn't waste them all on that one dude. Fuck! <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why there isn't like a. Uh... I think that's just your punishment. You know, it's like you you fucked up. You take the hit. Oh. But I've seen things where like you can, if you have like an item on you, you counteract and get a free hit, save. Yeah. You, you're you are dead. Yeah, you're just dead, dude. Oh, hey, you are you are funky mode. You want white Donkey Kong mode? You little, you little boy? <laughs> you, want a, you want a dirt bottle? Ah. I didn't go for easy mode. Here's what I'd love to know. Does this reset your clock? Does this reset your clock to the point? No, I don't. I uh, think I read, I don't think it, it resets the clock. Uh, so if this puts you back at the opening, where's your hit uh, option? <laughs> I wonder if, if I can skip the cutscene. Yes. Okay. But I'm not sure the cutscenes count either way, actually. But you can totally skip cutscenes. Skip that. This is notebook. Be careful. There's a zombie. There he is. He got you. 
See, I, in the original, I'm pretty sure there was like... In the original, I know you had like a knife, so you could... Uh, you get one. Very soon. Ah, oh, fucking hell, man. See, I can't... This is what's annoying. It's like, I, I can't even go around him. How do you put this up to put in this fucker? Uh, we found the general thing was three to knock him down for a bit, and then that's when you make your move. Okay. But they're coming in through windows and stuff. Um, you know, you got the few coming toward you here. You... So, so this is the right way to go? Yeah, you gotta go back the way you came now. You had to get that notebook, basically. You Edward Cullen. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Don't help me out now. You're going the wrong way. You're going back. Oh fuck. Yeah, you want to go this way. Oh fuck. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Just kidding. I forgot this guy was here though. You want to? Yeah, through that doorway there. I think. We got this. This is all starting. No, get... no, no, no. <laughs> oh man, it looks like. Which one from Keenan and Kel? Oh, <laughs> you know, the orange soda guy. Kel? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh that's nasty. <laughs> you play this thing? <laughs> Where's the checkerboard ground? If I die one more time, I'll switch to easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> Take the ego hit. Hey, as we said before, we know we're bad at games. Yeah. I'm used to Alex, because he plays RE4 a shit ton, so... I guess to him, this is like... On what version does he have it on? The Wii? Everywhere. PS4 is what he goes with now. I, I, I have it on the Wii. I was thinking of maybe upgrading. I know a lot of people say that the Wii version, because of the motion sensor, like that. I, I played Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, like, non-stop on a week once. And it, mm. it's, it's... I have never had a, 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 a motion control game be more satisfying. When you, mm. when you like, shotgun a zombie in the face. So fucking satisfying. Okay. I guess technically they ain't zombies in Resident Evil 4, but whatever. That's surprising. Capcom must have been doing it right, because I think about Okami, and that had the paintbrush thing to do your special moves, and you can use the Wii remote with that to, like, actually See, that's, If you don't know he's there, he isn't gonna get you. That is, that is, I think that's actual bullshit. But you knew he was there, so... I did know he was there. That one, that one, that technically was on me, I'll give you that. <laughs> I just was saying it so the comments that... Yeah. Didn't have to. Oh, fuck, one way. I swear, in, in the original, they would actually just, like, fucking die after, a, you know, a few hits. Might be better to view this as, like, a reboot, reimagining kind of yeah. thing. Swing on Is it in there? No. That's a, that's a closet. But that's the guy who got you. Okay. You want to go left... Uh, uh, mm, well, wait. Mm, I'm not sure. Isn't that, isn't that where I went? Yeah, okay, you're good. You got so it. you got me killed last time, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Hey, you know what? You made it. Oh, no! God damn it. Oh, it's Will Smith. I know that <laughs> name. Oh, dude, that's gross. I love it. <laughs> Didn't you read the fucking sign, dude? <laughs> it's like Walking Dead. How do you feel about the way this looks, by the way? It's kind of a big thing with the remake. Look, either it looks like a modern-ish game. <laughs> it looks okay. I don't know. I mean, like, in, in what I, way? I really like the way it looks. Yeah. I think it's very striking, very... Nasty and off-putting. I like how how kind of muted the color palette is. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really makes it gives it that good like horror movie vibe. This needs like a little cheesy film grain on top of it or some bullshit. It needs to look like How to Dead Overkill. That's what this needs to look like. <laughs> Every game. Have you played that? Be... Have you played How to Dead Overkill? I watched you guys play it. Every game could stand to be a bit more like How to Dead Overkill. Some motherfucker. <laughs> That game would not get released in this day and age, which I understand why, yeah. but that game would not get released in this day and age. 
And if, if your first thought was, I wonder if the blood transfers, yep, his bloody fingerprints are all over your book now. Nice. <laughs> I forget if in the Resident Evil canon, like in other things like Walking Dead, if dead people like that become zombies as well. Oh, if like people who are died before the incident. Yeah. If their bodies turn. Well, because he was clearly like, like, he was clearly like bitten by a zombie. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if he'll... That, that feels like a thing a game would do. Like, here's your early helper and now you gotta kill him kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is where you get the knife you were thinking about. Nice. You got one shot. One opportunity. <laughs> There's literally one bullet in here. Mom's <laughs> spaghetti. It's coming out my tummy. It's ready. <coughs> Leon just kill that guy now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll just save myself from <laughs> emotional trauma. Combat dog. Fucking dog. about fucking... Time. The animation on this is great, by the way. Just throwing that one out there. Just slash repeatedly. Wait, what was, what was the attack? <laughs> <laughs> it's even better when there's a zombie because it's left to right. And it's like, eh, 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 eh. Great game. Okay, now where do I go? If I have to find three medallions. Uh, do you want me to just tell you? Yeah, wrong way. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> this is why, like, there isn't even, like, no fucking American police station. I'm like, you have to find yeah. three medallions. You, got, you gotta cut the tape. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a button prompt, I think. There we go. Are you saying no American police station would be structured like this fucking No, weird? no, would would have a thing where it's like, to get to, the, um, to get to, like, the captain's room, Put find somebody's... three medallions. That's not how he imagined his first day, you know. No, this is typical American. Uh -huh. you got oh, some herbs. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying, man? Weed. We're so white, it's painful. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It hurts you more than it hurts me, I think. <laughs> some nice couches. Yeah. Where is it? Spoil it for me. Where's the problem with that in? Oh, um, left. Oh, in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that one would... I, I was like, is he kidding? Or? <laughs> I can see it. I, I I get such like blindness when I play these types of games. Oh. Uh, I just can't see fucking shit in front of me. You're the target audience now. I know, right? It's a 73 bird. T-bird? That's the fucking T-bird. <laughs> this is one of the things that definitely got censored, by the way, that I was oh, talking wait. about. In Japan? Okay. Yeah. This one's way less grotesque in the comparison I saw. It's bad. It's oh, a fucking Joker. God. So what's different in it, the it's Japanese just, version? It's less... Like, is there more actual skin on it? It's less sliced up, yeah. Oh, really? It's less like the jaw is falling and more like it's still intact, if I remember right. That's... that's... I tried to block it out because it was really upsetting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. I bet that's a good jump scare. We cut him down in our playthrough. Oh, really? We bumped up and was like, I bet he's going to fall, and he didn't. So Alex was oh. like, fuck it. <laughs> Which was funnier than scary. That reminds me of, I think it's either one or two when dogs jump through a fucking window. That, You're in this long corridor and dogs jump through and that was like one of the most like infamous like, jump scares back in the earth. For some reason, like, I don't know. You know what? For, you can get card or wooden boards and board up some windows. Oh, really? That's why the X is there. Uh, There's one around. Just to spoil every fucking thing for you. <laughs> you know, he's like playing like like spooky games. Spooky. Like um, in this day and age, I don't find that scary. But like for some reason, the uh, the PlayStation One era. Just I don't know what it was. You know, it's just that that like. Uh, Is that that layer of abstraction? Layer of abstraction, like like you know, like how old I was at the time. It's just um, those games will always be scarier to me. Hmm. For, for whatever reason. I can see that. I tried to play uh, Silent Hill 1 with Alex a few years back. Oh, yeah. And I found it more frustrating than, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. bothersome. Yeah. Because that, especially that one, that's the one with the very thick fog and everything. And I was like, well, where the fuck do I go? I'm not eight with no life to figure this out. Just give me a... Can I, can I combat like this? I... We... We moved on. We couldn't figure out what to do with that. 
Okay. Because he mentioned sometimes you go back through the same areas in this game. Oh, a lot, yeah, a lot, yeah. Whoa, oh, fuck huh. it up. PS4 controller Jesus, speaker. that made me... St There's that's the scariest fucking thing, man. The fuck, I did not request you make noise, PS4 controller. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It's, like the, it's like the Wii remote speaker. Once in a while, a game uses it, and you're like, fuck. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I didn't ask for this. Why yeah. is Donkey Kong Country Returns making banana sounds? <laughs> Oh, he just wants a snack, Gareth. He's the big boy. It's one of the least effective things you can do. But man, it's fun to watch. <laughs> I'm Liam Kennedy. I didn't think my first day would be like this. <coughs> I think I sliced his arm off. Mom said it's my turn to use the vending machine. <laughs> Okay, I'm bored. I've had a better success rate with a knife than the fucking <laughs> gun. I'll give it that, man. Hey, knives don't use bullets. So knives exactly. Are Never have to reload a knife. Did you find all three medallions? We found the statue where you can get one. Okay. And the demo has a definite end point that you can reach. We got there in like 18 minutes the second time. Man, you're saying fuck this window. <laughs> <laughs> I want some people to do like a, a knife only run. Oh, that's gotta be a thing. I, I'd watch that, yeah. We'll get we'll get we'll get Mexi on there. Alright, yeah, yeah. Oh no! You can use L1. Oh, I pressed L1! You didn't do it in time. Now there's two zombies. Uh oh. Ah You asked for that one. I didn't I didn't give you permission for that. You signed up for that newsletter. Yeah! There you go. I had to stab her in the breast. That ain't cool. That's kind of fucked up, dude. Oh, did I? Is my knife stuck in her now? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I didn't ask for that at all. Guess you gotta kill her and get it back, huh? Yes, yep. it's in her! That, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll get my knife back. Thank you. One yeah. knife, please. You, you should, uh... Oh yeah, use the up, use the Some of that dank kush. You're thinking. How do I get But if you save it for the red urn, you can combine it. Nah, I think I need to use it now. Oh, you're a user, I gotcha. So, definite end. So, is it, does that have all three medallions? No. Um, we did one statue puzzle for what that's worth. There was like some library thing we got through, and then it popped up with like complete eighteen minutes or a ranking, I think maybe or something okay. like it. So, what, so what you do is that there's like a an actual puzzle you do, and then it ends. Context of of the demo. There's like a cutscene or something. Yeah, there's like a definitive end to this demo. Oh, key. You missed the jump scare, but something flits by that window. I felt I felt the controller. Ah, there uh, you go. Oh, is that liquor? Yeah. Oh, are we gonna see the liquor now? Uh, if you have enough time, maybe. In here, liquor. Uh, I'm looking for a uh, uh, liquor. <laughs> oh, come on. That's that that yellow th wrapped up stuff is the planks, by the way, that you can put over windows if you feel like strategizing. Oh, cool. Hello! What's up, buddy? He's on a bender. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Slice up his fingers! Get fucked! Eat some brains now, you prick! <laughs> oh, five minutes. Uh oh. Five minutes should be plenty. That's the second time I got to make that joke. Tonight. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> Some oh guy scribblings? Yep. Uh, the summary is, oh, I, I went insane and enjoyed killing people, and then I wrote about it. That's cool. <laughs> uh, did you just get the uh, hip pouch? Yeah, you good. You got it. Come on. Okay. So, Chris, um, 
so you have no you have no experience with this franchise aside from like watching the demo. You never played like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. But this really made me want to play this remake. I will say that. And I have the remake of Resident Evil on PS4 through PlayStation Plus. Hey, baby, so same here. We should I was thinking about giving that a go yeah. sometime. Yeah. I, I Capcom stuff in general, I feel like I'd like, but I just never tried a lot of it. You know, Capcom is another company like Sega where they've really turned it around. Lately, yes, you think? they they've stopped being like the punchline of a bunch of. I know, we know because of Sonic, Sega will now stop being the punchline of bad jokes. No matter how many good games they make, they'll always be a pocket punch man because that's stupid head job. Would you but, say that Marvel vs. Capcom, perhaps one of your flagship titles with Infinite, has now kind of become a bit of a kind punchy of, bag kind of, that's kind of It's a, like, how could you get this wrong when everything else you're doing is so good? That's kind of, that's kind of like a Sonic 06. <laughs> not, to that, not to that example of bad, but, of course. But relatively. Like, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else up here? you you got more to do up here. Okay. You've got turned around somehow. This is what I I got such like bad spatial awareness in these types of games. I I will like so many times in these games I will like walk past the, the very obvious door that I'm supposed to walk in and I'll get frustrated with the game mm. and just decide the game is bad. And then record a video about it and put it on YouTube and say anyone who <laughs> says otherwise is wrong, <laughs> which they are. Yes. Okay. Right. This is where I do a Ryan impression if I could do one. Um. <laughs> Existence. Existence is pain. <laughs> they call them liquors, huh? Yeah. David. Oh, thanks. Did they pay for the liquor? Oh. So do I go back in here? I think so. Okay. I, get, I know like, like most of the things we do, this gameplay is bad, but, you know, first time playing it, I haven't Playing a Resident Evil game in Resident Evil ages. 2. First reactions 4K gameplay. <laughs> Base cam chiller thriller. Fucker. <laughs> There's. Oh, you, uh, did you get that C4? No, what's C4? Opposite. Left. Up. Oh, yeah. That's what the first note was about from some guy's scribblings or whatever. What, what's it? What, what, what's it? What are you doing? Shoot it? You. You gotta put it in a slot. You get you get the C four. It's not let me. It's not let me. Uh, fuck you. I don't know. <laughs> I I I remember Alex just grabbing it and us going cool, but maybe you don't grab it then. It's just not letting me grab it. No. <laughs> Knife C four. Great idea. Well, I guess you don't get to have any. Sorry. Did you, did you use it at all? Nah. Okay. I don't know if you needed to progress uh, things. Though. Well, in, in the game, I'm sure you will, but they wouldn't give it to you unless you needed it. Uh, for the demo. Uh, um, oh, hmm. Yeah, there we go. And Yeah, I knew there was some way to get here. Oh, hey. What's up, Will Smith? How do I turn that off? Uh... Great question. Can I get can I get back there through here? Do I have to go back where I can? You are going the right way. Okay. As for the controller speaker, I have it turned down at a system level, so games don't default any audio to that. Gotcha. Because yeah, yeah. GTA five, any phone call gets put through that speaker and people are constantly talking to you over the phone in that game. <laughs> oh, that's immersive. It's <laughs> too immersive. Ten out of ten. But yeah, I, I don't generally like controller speaker no. shit. Because again, when that when that fucking page turn happened, scarier than anything I would eventually <laughs> see in this game. Uh oh, oh, I thought you reached the end. Is this is, is this the cutscene? Ah, uh, no, there's some stuff past this. Oh my god, it's a girl. It's Claire Redfield, of course, sister of the. Uh, one Boulder of the puncher. heroes, uh, Boulder Puncher, Colonel Hedgehog. Unlike Wesker, she doesn't chuckle. I fucking hate you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Albert Wesker, that's the name I know. Is he in this game? Uh, I don't believe... Oh, is that the end of the demo? Thank you for playing. Go buy a box copy, you dipshit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, you know, um... 
Oh, is that it? Is that the actual... That's it. That's all you get for this playthrough. Oh, you know, we reached the end. We reached the end. There's more. Oh, there's more. Uh, wait. That game says completion time 24 minutes. There's more you could have done. Oh, but oh, but them. this is... Okay. This is where the demo would have ended then. Yeah. Can you, can you see the liquor? No. Okay. Then... That's what I bit my tongue on earlier. Is like, I don't want to spoil that for him, but... Yeah. Oh. Well, no, I wanted it... you to at least play through the end of this. Oh, yeah. Hoping you could. Well, you know what? This... I, I, I left this demo the same way. Like, I want to know what the liquor is now. Dude, the f- liquor is one, like, one of the fucking... Back in the day, mm-hmm. they were fucking one of the great, like, scariest video game characters ever, man. Oh, so that's... A... They were fucking great. That's a tease, then. There's a thing where um the, the CG cutscene for their introduction is ingrained in my head so much so that fucking there's a... In, in The Mummy 2... Literally, I remember. I remember seeing the Mummy two uh-huh. with the the cinematic debut of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Ah, yes. And there's literally there's creatures in there that I seen it with my friends who we all played Resident Evil two, and we were literally like, "That's the fucking liquor from Resident <laughs> Evil two. And because the way I'm, not, I'm sure they'll keep it here, but there's a thing where I, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil its introduction. But the way you're introduced to the liquor in the original game, mm-hmm. they have these creatures in the Mummy Returns, where it's they're introduced the exact same way as the liquor was, mm-hmm. um, and it's just like that's the fucking liquor, man. Wait, which came first? Oh, Resident Evil Two. So you think maybe someone played that and was like, "All right, they won't sue us. Let's do this." I want to say, I want to say, the Mummy is a Sony movie. No, you know, it's Universal. Universal, um, but. It's just like, that's the fucking liquor, man. Hmm. Okay. But so, both times, or all three times I've watched someone play this, I've walked away thinking, I want to play this. How do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's as, as it's always the way I, I feel with Resident Evil games, it takes a while to really get a ha- good handle on the controls. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure if I, if I got the game, you know, play through and then came back to this. And I'd, if you I, weren't talking while playing it yes. for an audience. And also, if I wasn't used to zombies dying after like two <laughs> shots to the head, that's what tripped me up the most in mm. this. I can see that. Because I was like, I, like, I've shot you in the head six times. Why are you still fucking moving? It reminds me, this is a fucking Chris ass analogy. It reminds me when I first played Sonic Heroes <coughs> as a kid and I hit a robot and there was a health bar and it just what died. What the fuck? Like, huh? Why does you think all his robots are robots? But <laughs> then Sonic Colors came and fucked that notion even more. Anyway, Resident Evil 2, one shot demo. We blew our load. It's fun. It's, you know, yeah. Um, Capcom was doing all right. They're doing, like Sega, they're, they're, they're redeeming themselves. They're redeeming themselves. I, will, I will end. In this video, I, I will give you a little fact about um, something Capcom did back in the day that the industry as a whole was very impressed with. At the N64. Not known, um, not known for having a lot of space, obviously, because it was cartridges versus the discs, um, and certain games like Gex sixty four infamously slaughtered a lot of lines in the transition. Yep, things like if the <laughs> I think it was only released in America, but the uh, PS one Spider Man game, all of the cutscenes were replaced with like static comic book style images. Right. Yeah. Capcom. I've heard about that. Capcom were able to successfully get all of the pre rendered cutscenes on the cartridge. And that, I remember at the time... Was a two-disc game, too? Yeah. Wow. And so I, I remember not playing the N64 version, because why the fuck would you? But um, <laughs> yeah. at, at the time, a lot of people were like, Capcom, that's very fucking impressive. You were able to do that. Have you ever seen them side by side? Like, is it a noticeable downgrade of the game? Or I haven't. Um, I would I would imagine, though, those cutscenes are heavily compressed. Probably. Um, I'm sure we could probably find them online, but yeah. but So that's it. That's pretty cool. Resident Evil 2, we probably George, we tried to get this out before the game, and I think this will probably go up two days before the game comes out, so... So by our time, see in a few years, everybody. So for... <laughs> if, if I get this out before the game comes out, that's like the most fucking timely thing we've ever we've ever done on this channel. Thanks, but, Capcom. Especially since there's our Halloween OP went up in January. <laughs> uh, that, that was most of fans' fault. There's a guy very behind on another LP, I'll say nothing. Stefan, you're fired. Bye! You're hired.